This is the second in within a week that we're handing over to our citizens. A couple of days ago, like I've been said, we commissioned a very important Yaba um, overpass bridge. These are bridges that are along the red line. With this overpass, we are providing what we call permanent solutions when the train starts. We will understand that the overpass is to avoid completely vehicular interaction or pedestrian engagement when the train starts. So you need to be able to build those infrastructure so that you can avoid any form of accident when the train starts. And in the last two, two and a half years, we have given it a challenge that we will, we will complete all of the five overpasses that we have identified as major gridlock for the red line to be able to function and work well. The first was the Pennsylvania overpass, which we commissioned about a year and a half ago. The second was the Yaba overpass, which we have commissioned and handed over. The third, which is the Oingo overpass, which we are handing over and commissioning today. The next will be the very big Ikeja along overpass, which also has been 100% completed. We will look for a date to commission. And the last will be the Mushin overpass, which I'm told is about 90-92% completion and will be completed before the red line comes into operation. When we promise a master plan where rail, road, water, infrastructure will work together, this is a classical example of it. Here in Oingo, you will see that there's a bus station that is a massive bus station. And there are going to be pedestrian walk to get onto the train stations. Right? So you can commute from the train stations onto the bus stations and it will be seamless. So the integrated urban transportation system that we promised, right here, you can begin to see it being informed and so being, being utilized and being implemented without any each at all.